So we're just con continuing on from before and as you could see we'd just started to play around with the scale setting just to give us a really basic sort of baseline uh, scale for the whole shader and what I'm looking at here is, is is okay we can come back and we can play around with it later it's just to give us a basic starting point so now we have that set I'm going to go down and I'm just going to go through each of these attributes and set the amount to zero zero make sure reflections at zero secondary reflection is zero by default so what this is doing is just giving us a blank slate we've got our scale set so now we can go in and we can start tweaking these main four attributes here well these three main scattering attributes they're the most important ones we can start tweaking those individually to get the skin look that we're after now rather than start with the top and work our way down I'm going to start from the back the deepest layers and work myself work my way up to the surface so I'm going to start with deep scattering now we have two main attributes here as well as a color the radius controls the thickness of that particular layer of skin so in this instance that is two centimeters each of these values is equal to a centimeter so that's two centimeters that's half a centimeter so that's two centimeters thick the amount controls how much light is being scattered on that particular layer so if I set that to one we can see our deep colors really quite bright we can also see that the ear is blown out again and we're losing all that definition we've pretty much flattened her out so we know that that amount is way too high we also know that the radius is possibly too too uh, too high as well so basically what what happens is the light enters the shallow color the, the shallow scattering layer with a radius of 0.1 it's it's not got far to travel before it hits the medium scattering layer now this layer as you can see here is slightly thicker so the light's got a little bit further to travel before it hits the deep scattering layer so you've got to just think of the shader in terms of layers which are thick layers and each one the light has got to travel from the outside in towards to get to the bottom one and rather than just use a deep color red I'm going to use a texture to help control well just add another layer of control onto it just to show um, which areas of deep scattering needs more need more than others so I'm just going to go in here point to a file and these should be supplied with the uh, uh, files which come with this tutorial let's just move that over there like that now she's gone black again because the deep color here is just set to black until we point a texture in so let's just go to source images deep scatter and you can see the texture here it's basically the diffuse texture but it's tinted uh, and made darker so this also helps um, so we can see areas of the eyes and the hair up here they're going to not be affected by the deep scattering because it's darker so let's open that up so now we've dictated our base color now we can see there so we've got some of the texture in there you can see her eyebrow coming through because but her ear is still blown out so let's let's reduce the amount to maybe 0.3 and this is what's good it's updating automatically so we've got to remember the lights coming from the window a slight bit of light coming from the back and these are also the very deepest layers of tissue so let's change the radius to one so we're starting to get the ear back slightly like that now but that's a good uh, a good place that I'm happy to leave and then move on to the next layer and this time I'm just going to jump straight in 
and connect a texture first. So we go to File, like so. Let's just open that up. And we have Medium Scatter here. And what this is, if we look at our diffuse, it's just a blurred version of the diffuse, which is more saturated. So we're getting a lot more uh, color into that layer. So we open that. Now we're not going to see much of a difference because we haven't adjusted our amount and our radius. So let's set the amount to one. And as you can see there, we're starting to get the uh, a bit more skin color in. But now we can adjust the radius. So maybe we want the, oh, I've added it into the shallow color. Right, let's go back. So here we go again. Let's just quickly go in, add our medium scatter. That's better into the medium scattering layer. So again, set that to one, just so we can see it at its full strength. So there we go. But again, you know, the ear is looking a bit blown out. So we could adjust the radius. We set that to one just to see the different effects. You know, it's even more blown out now. So we know that we need to go less. So let's maybe 0.25. So there we're getting that detail back into the ear. You know, we could also reduce the amount, halve that amount. And that's looking a little bit better. Remember, this is a medium scattering uh, layer, which is uh, almost like the dermis layer of the skin. The deep scattering would be the hypodermis. So that's looking okay. You know, I've just all we've done is added a texture, adjusted a couple of values quickly. So now let's go to the shallow color. File. And this time we're just going to jump straight in and add in our diffuse. Again, it's set to zero, so let's just up that to one. And this is giving us a lot more detail into the shader. In fact, Let's just bring back, let's just bring back her hair, just so we can see, see her with her hair on as well. Yes, we do want to keep checking the ear just to make sure that the, uh, the scattering is correct. Uh, we're not just blowing out all the detail, but that's not looking too bad. And for this, the shallow amount, you do want a, it to be thinner because you want the light to penetrate that a lot sooner and hit that medium scattering layer. We could always increase the medium scattering amount. You know, let's make that six. Right, let's just uh, move that. Let's just regenerate, oops, wrong button. Regenerate the IPR with the hair on. It's better. So now we can get a fuller idea of how she's going to look with the hair on, with the shadows, you know, how it's all coming all coming together. So we could maybe make that that layer a little bit thicker. You know, if you remember, 0.5 is half a centimeter, so that's not 0.2. You know, 0.25 is going to be a quarter of a centimeter. So we maybe do want that a little bit thicker. The medium radius, we want that to be thicker than the shallow radius, so let's up that to five. Let's maybe increase the 
deep radius as well. And we can just play around with these and as you can see we just update a setting here, it updates in the viewport here in the IPR render. So it's quite easy and quick to go through and just get really quick uh, results. You know it is a bit grainy but you're just looking at the moment for just getting a really basic you know skin setup. What you can do then is start rendering it out um, and then adjusting it that way. So that's not looking too bad. We've still got a little bit of uh, definition around her nose here which is which is just what we want. What you don't want is the sh you want enough of the scattering to go into the shadow areas to sort of you know simulate the light scattering um, and bringing those shadow areas making them lighter but you also don't want too much that you're losing the uh, the creases around her nose you know you know and all those other sort of elements so let's leave the skin there let's move up to the diffuse uh, channel you know you you've got those three set up you can tweak the settings to get the exact look that you want now the diffuse color well the diffuse tab um, this is mainly used for let's say your character has lipstick on like ours does or they have tattoos or they have something on the surface of the skin maybe paint and that area doesn't want to be affected by the subsurface scattering so it needs to look more solid this controls that so don't let this fool you into thinking this is just the main color to apply to it so for for this uh, character we only really need the lipstick to stand out a little bit more you know I've chosen that her lipstick needs to be more solid and glossy rather than um, you, you know than more natural lips mainly just to illustrate this um, but what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to use the diffuse because I want that uh, skin colour I want the colour from the, the diffuse to be used you know in in the diffuse texture here we have the lips which are quite red now obviously you could simplify this scene by just using one diffuse file but I'm not going to get into that for this so basically what we've done now is we've said we're using this color and this amount will dictate how much of that color we use so if we set this to one so that's using that color Com uh, you know 100% of that color and as you can see it, it has flattened her out slightly but we don't want that what we want to do is rather than use a value we can use a texture and we can dictate where we want that to be so in this case we just want to, to affect the lips now I already have two textures we've got a primary reflection and a secondary reflection um, and these we will get on to next but because I've already got this texture which dictates we only want it to affect the lips maybe she's got something you know makeup on her around her eyes and on her nails so we can use that you can also always create a different uh, material we can use that in here just to make sure that the diffuse is only applied to her lips Now we can't really see it yet because we, you know, we're not doing a proper render. I mean, we could probably just make out that her lips look a little bit more solid. But she's still looking a little flat. But then we've only been concentrating on these main attributes here. So let's close these down. And now let's go down to the reflection tab. Um, and what I might do here is I might take another break and then we will come back next and uh, start to play around with these.